probably buy the same with that. Here's some time with our tech. And I'm going to be showing you how to change your wallpaper or theme on Windows. But before we continue, all your pins are my own. I paid for this computer. I got a deal with my parents and my own son. No one's uh, uh, sponsoring me or paying me or influencing this video. So let's continue. I'll show you. So since I'm on my computer, what I need to do is right click and select personalize. Or settings. So if you go to Microsoft Project, everyone can control panel settings. So now we go to themes. In themes, when it loads, you can select themes. So like in themes, you can say, hey, I want this Windows theme, or I want this Mac theme, Windows 10. So for all time space, I'll select the Canon one. Then I will choose background, because in background you can select what you want. Hey, I don't want it. So when you select background, it'll take you up to this tab, background. Background, it can be side profile, color picture. In the pictures, like I'll just pan around the corner, you can browse for any things that you need to shop with like a a lounge out the back of the house. But I'm going to go in the back because it'll probably change because that more power. So I'm going to choose this stool so that it looks stretched without the stool. You can also download more things from third party websites like Store or Microsoft Store. When you get the themes, I'll be right click and install themes. That should work. Another way to change your background on Windows is by finding a image on your computer. So we need to do is find the image location. For example, your pictures folder might be a good place to start, but it might be saved somewhere else. So I've got my pictures open. So what I'm going to do is find an image to use as my background. Oh, here's a good folder, Sam of our tech. Let me go to it's a YouTube folder, so that's what seems cool. Thumbnail. Click on it to view it or preview it. Okay, this looks like a good image. Let me right click and set as desktop background. Now you can see the image I have chose is now my desktop background or wallpaper. Alright, so that's how you change wallpaper or theme on Windows. It's pretty straightforward. Things might change in the future with newer versions of Windows. And you do need to be activated as I may or may, or, or may not have mentioned earlier before. But anyway, I'm Sam. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped and see ya.